Hi everyone, this is Mindy and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I have some inspiration using the new distress color from Tim Holtz and Ranger called Lost Shadow. And a quick thank you to Simon Says Stamp for sending me all the goodies to play with. Now what I'm going to be using today is the Distress Ink and the Distress Oxide in Lost Shadow. I thought I would use the Oxide Spray, but I changed my mind later in the video. Now I'm also going to use this with the Candy Hearts Layering Stencil from Simon Says Stamp. This has six pieces to it, and I'm only going to be using the open areas of the hearts, not the stencil piece that adds some additional detail to it. So there's three layers to that. And I'm going to work on this waffle flower stencil mat so that I have a six by six piece of white cardstock. And I'm going to tuck that down in the bottom left hand corner of the stencil mat. And then I took my stencil and placed that in the corner. So that way it's always lined up perfectly. I just wanted to make sure that the etching on the stencil is always in the right hand corner. I'm going to go through each layer of the stencil, the three pieces that I'm using, and I'm going to ink blend them on with that Lost Shadow Distress Oxide. So it's a really light gray and a very great neutral. So I kind of compare it to cereal. Like when you don't know what to eat, but you have a taste for something, you go to cereal. To me, that is going to be Lost Shadow. When I wanna have a background, an ink blended background maybe, or just some subtle interest, and I don't know what to use, I'm going to go to Lost Shadow. It is a really nice gray and does remind me of the Fog cardstock from Simon Says Stamp, which is also a really great neutral base color to use in your cards. I'm also going to be applying this ink with a blending brush. Now, this was a little tricky for me because normally I work on the Make Art Station, which is magnetic, and that holds my stencils down really well. So I had to be a little bit more careful without having those magnets as a kind of my security blanket. But I do like the silicone mat because it does kind of hold my cardstock in place. So you can see that that was just a really light background but I'm gonna add a little bit more interest to it by using the Friendship Text Background Stamp. And for this, I'm going to use the Distress Ink in Lost Shadow. Now, what I did is I flipped this over and instead of using my Misty, I'm just having this stick to my work surface, which is a glass mat. And I'm taking my ink blended cardstock and I'm placing that over the top. Then I'm going to take some scratch paper, place that over the top and just push my hand all over the background. Now, normally you wouldn't necessarily stamp with distress ink, but in this case, I wasn't lurking, looking for perfect results. I kind of like it when it's scattered. So some areas may not have stamped very well. That really is operator error. I didn't push very hard in those areas. Now, originally I was going to use the distress oxide spray to add splatters to my background, but decided to dig out my distress mica stains because if these poor guys are sitting in my room, I haven't used them. And I thought it would be a great way to add splatter, color, and shimmer. So I picked out cocktail party and iron gate. I thought would be really cool to mix with this. So I just put a little bit of each onto my glass work surface and I'm picking it up with my paintbrush and just tapping that on. Now they are sprays, so you could spray it onto your background, but I wanted it to be a little bit more subtle and controlled. So that is why I'm just picking it up with a paintbrush. Now, after I have my splatters there, I'm gonna set that off on the side to dry and work on my sentiment, which I am going to use the Love Ya from Simon Says Stamp and CZ Design. And I'm going to die cut that from Champagne Matte Cardstock. Beautiful, beautiful color. So I cut out a small piece and I'm using my low tag tape to hold that down. And then I'm going to run that through my Empress machine, which is a uh, electronic die cutting machine. So I die cut that from that champagne and I'm also going to go ahead and die cut it multiple times from some white cardstock. And then the shadow layer I did from vellum. My plan is to layer up my sentiment to create a little bit of dimension on the front of the card. So I picked out two that are gonna go behind that uh, champagne cardstock. And I'm just layering that together using my liquid glue and tweezers. And I like to do this over a paper towel so that if any, if I do have any excess glue, that paper towel is going to catch it and hopefully not transfer so much to my fingertips. Then I went ahead and placed this on top of that vellum piece. To make sure that that is held down really well, I'm just going to take something heavy like a block and place that over the top and let that sit. So now back to my panel, I made sure it was dry and I'm going to take these rectangle infinity dies. 
I chose a size off of that set and I'm die cutting that from my panel. So here's how this is looking so far. And while I absolutely love that champagne, I'm thinking this rich red would be better. So I went ahead and die cut that off screen. I, <laughs> it just, it needed, it needed more of a pop of color. I thought about adding some colored hearts, but I think this rich red cardstock is really going to do the trick. Now, something I wanted to show you really quick that I just recently got and I am loving is this kind of magnetic holder from Spellbinders. I, these have been around for a while. I just finally broke down and got one. But with little dies, it really helps just kind of put that over there so it doesn't get lost on your desk. Now, this is how everything is looking. I had just placed that red over the top to kind of eyeball it and decided to go ahead and just glue that right on top of that champagne cardstock. Now I have my panel here that I'm going to add some foam tape to and I'm using the foam tape from Ulta New and I'm going to add this to a card front that I created with a smoke cardstock. So it's a little bit darker of a gray. This is from Simon Says Stamp and that panel is trimmed to four and a quarter by five and a half. I have another Love Ya that I die cut from that white cardstock. I added some liquid glue to the front of it and then I'm attaching this behind my vellum piece. So it's going to pop it up just a smidge on the front of the card. Then I'll just take my block once again and place that over the top and let that sit for maybe about 20 to 30 seconds. Now the last thing I'm gonna do is add some embellishments here and I love using the Clear Quartz Solid Sequence from Gina K Designs. So I added a few around my sentiment using my uh, pickup tool and my Connect glue that I have in the fine tip bottles. Now, while this was a very basic way to use this color, I think this is gonna be a great base for any type of mixed media projects or ink smushing. It's going to just go with everything. I hope you enjoyed today's card project. I will have all of my supplies listed down below in the video description and over on my blog as well. Thanks so much for joining me today.